Uh, I was just, uh, I, was, I was in the UK all summer long, and I gotta say this, I am glad to be back in the United States of America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got some Republicans just screaming, I heard the US, yeah! <laughs> Do you guys ever see something in our country that is so, Amer you see something happen, you're like, that is so American, that could only happen here, right? A couple months ago, I saw the most American thing I've ever seen. This is more American than apple pie filled with pesticides. <laughs> It's more American than baseball players lying to Congress about using steroids. I was in the middle of the country, and the woman in front of me pulled out her Bank of America Visa credit card to purchase a $1 Coca-Cola in the McDonald's inside of a Walmart. <laughs> that is a modern-day Norman Rockwell painting. I saw that, I'm like, that is all of America summed up in one transaction, that is so, I was about ready to start chanting USA, USA, USA. I'm like, what could be more American than that? And then she showed me. She took that 32 ounce cup of high fructose corn syrup and she handed it to her little kid. <laughs> and when I say little kid, I mean he was short and young, but this seven year old was pushing 250 freaking pounds already. Oh, and I know people think I'm mean. I am not mean. I just saw that kid. I didn't feed that monster. Bless his heart. Bless his little heart disease. His tiny hardened arteries. He's so short, but he has high blood pressure. No, seriously, guys, please bless his heart. That's the only health insurance this kid has. I realize that when you look at America as a whole, because I, I went to the East Coast, I went to the South, like America is like a group of siblings, you know? The East Coast is like the firstborn, the most mature, the most responsible, the old soul of the group, right? South is like the middle child, slightly retarded. <laughs> slightly racist, right? Gets ignored by the other two all the time. You give it alcohol, it's loads of fun. Yeehaw, that's the South. <laughs> West Coast, we're like the baby child. We get all the attention, everyone loves us. Spend all the money, mom and dad will take care of us. That's the West Coast. Most likely to be gay. It's the West Coast. Puerto Rico's like the secret love child. Yeah, nobody knew about that, did they? And Hawaii, adopted Asian baby. That's our family. That's our family. People are so different throughout the United States. I was in the middle of the country, I was doing jokes like these, and a guy yelled terrorist, because he was upset. And the thing is, he wasn't joking, he was serious. Which is like, okay, obviously I'm not a terrorist, but dude, if I was, I don't think it's a good idea to yell terrorist <laughs> at a terrorist, all right? You might as well yell detonate, you know what I mean? Just, that's a bad idea. How's that supposed to work? As if there's gonna be a guy who's strapped with bombs. Some guy yells terrorist, he's like, oh, you got me. <laughs> here I was about to blow us all to hell. <laughs> but you see right through me, man. Well, well, I think we all learned something today. <laughs> I've been arrested a bunch of times. You might have guessed that one too, huh? The last time I was arrested, I was minding my own business, lighting off firecrackers in Hermosa Beach. Fourth of July, and uh, I threw them underneath some horses with sheriffs on top of them. Because <laughs> I'm a patriot. Real shit. It made uh, three local newspapers and my mom cry. Just Google my name, Google Craig Conant, Hermosa Beach Fireworks. There's an article titled, Deputies Lasso Lamita Man. <laughs> I was Lamita Man, baby, yeah. But the cops are idiots, they're like, why were you running? Because you're fucking chasing me on horses. <laughs> Have you guys ever been galloped after by a posse or sheriffs on horses? You feel alive, you know? <laughs> And then they're like, where are the drugs at? Where are they at, hippie? And I was like, in my body. You're too late, piggy. I fucking did them. 
<laughs> yeah, that joke cost me $12,000. <laughs> I'm a retired United States Army Staff Sergeant. Um, I retired because in 2003, when I deployed to Iraq, my first mission outside the wire, I was in a gunfight, and I took a 7.62 round from an AK-47 to the back of the skull. Honest to God's truth, that's why I retired. Um, it screwed up my short-term memory, and I can't remember a lot of things, which is why you might see me looking at my hand occasionally. Um, and people are like, that's terrible that you don't have a good memory. And it's not, because I live uh, with a woman, and it could be the best fucking thing that's ever happened in my life. Because <laughs> I have a built-in excuse to forget everything. She can't get mad at me, because that would be unpatriotic. <laughs> I was on tour one time, I called. I was like, hey, I made it safely. She's like, why didn't you fill the ice cube tray? I'm like, because I forgot. She's like, why? Because I got shot in the goddamn head. <laughs> Fighting for your freedom, so. Which one do you want, ice or freedom? You only get one. I don't dig deep into political stuff. I have, uh, one of my friends, is, he's an environmentalist which is cool, but he's always complaining. He's like, the polar bears have feelings too. The polar bears are just like people. When the ice caps melt, where are the polar bears gonna go? Like, Dude, come on. If, if bears are just like people, I'm sure the polar bears will be okay. Right? <laughs> well, no, because I, because I figured they would just take land from the grizzly bears. Have the black bears do all the work. <laughs> and uh, have the panda bears build them railroads. I... <laughs> That's not racist, it's just it's a bear joke. There's no bears here. <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> It's a hypothetical situation where bears make a country. <laughs> Call it a barica. What more do you want? <laughs> we can elect a half polar bear, half black bear president, right? <laughs> oh, Bearma, right, guys? Come on. <laughs>